checking sound, sound check, sound check. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hi. Good night, sir. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. Good Great. Yes, same for me. I just got back from work. What about you? Two. I back for work too. Okay, Today. great. Today is six or thirty in the morning. Six thirty in the morning. Yes. I yeah. I imagine you are a little tired, aren't you? So tired. Yes. All right. Yeah. I I can picture that. Great. Well, anyways. And uh, well, let's wait for the others. Let me text them and okay. see if they're coming. All right, just a second. I'm gonna go get some water too. Just give me a second. Hello, how are you doing, Romulo? Hi, I'm doing well. Great, great. That's good to hear. <laughs> thank you. Hey, Aleda, welcome back. How are you? Hey, thank you. Good. Uh, I have uh, some problem at, at work, but uh, I, I, good. Okay. All right. right now. You yeah. manage. You manage it. All right. You you worked it out. Great. And how about yeah. you, Aleda? How are you? Mm, good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm good. Great. That's so good to hear. All right. Hey, Omar is here too. Well, anyways, I think every almost everybody is in the class. So yes, let's get started. So in uh, today's lesson, we will work on product development. All right. That's our main topic. We'll start covering product development. And uh, I hope uh, you guys have enough rest so you can feel ready for uh, today's lesson. Hey, <clears throat> let's think about this. All right, let's begin like this. I want you to think of something you could sell. Yeah, you follow me? Like for example, I have this uh, phone stand. I have this phone stand, so you can put your phone here I mean, you can, you know, put it on a table, right? And you put your phone in there and you can record yourself. Now, I want you to get something that you think, oh, this is a great idea. You know, I could sell it. So quickly go get something, a product, you know, just any item that you think you could sell it because it's a great idea. Let's begin. All right. So let's do it. Let's get anything just like anything you think would be great to sell because it's a great idea like for example this item is a is a very good idea for example when you're making video calls you can uh, you can set it up and you can put your phone here and record yourself instead of holding your phone all the time you follow me so let's see what what do you have in there what do you have in near you that you think uh, uh you could sell like uh, i have this uh hand sanitizer too let's see let's get any item that you believe you can sell all right what is that all right romulo let's uh we can't hear you no this is a uh 
a split or for pro protector to the cell phones. All it's right. a good idea. Okay. Because uh, nowadays the cell phone is so expensive and you can throw or fall and damage your, your equipment, right? Correct. Uh, that's right. Just a good idea. Right? For yes. Both. Yeah, you can drop your phone, right? Mm -hmm. You can drop your phone like oops, okay. drop. Drop. Okay. Yeah, drop. All right. Drop. Great. Any other idea over there? Uh let's remember we should also have our camera on, all right? Don't forget that. Let's have our camera on as well. So Again, one more, uh, one more idea of uh, anything that you think it's a great, uh, it's a great product and it's uh, relatively new and that you could sell it. All right, let's get something. Just give me one second, guys. For Sorry about it. I'm back. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Let's see any other great idea that you can share with us. Anybody? Oh, looks like a lady has one. Do you? Mm, I think I can sell headphones. Okay. Headphones. All right. Good. Good. That's very good. That is a great idea too. Headphones. Everybody needs headphones, right? We all need a headset. So uh, let's see. What about uh, Camilla? Any other idea that, that you came up with? Uh, I think a good product is a mouse. Mouse in alambrico. Wireless. Yeah. Great. Oh, let's let's type it here. Wireless. Wireless. All right, a wireless mouse. Hey, I got one too. It's old, but it's good. Hey, what about you, uh, Maria? Any product that you think, oh, it's a very good one, and I could probably sell it. Uh, um, I'm late. Uh, is um, uh, uh, things specific or not? Whatever. Uh, yeah, it could be anything that you believe is a great idea. Maybe a bottle for water? Eternals. Because, yeah. <laughs> because uh, here's it's too hot and you need uh, um, uh, <laughs> you need um, drink water yeah. and now uh, the bottles is a contain uh, to uh, I don't know um, the water is cold or hot whatever oh so whatever good uh -huh. good it, it keeps temperature right? yes yes it yes yes for 24 hours i think so really yes yes uh-huh so if you want it hot if you want it hot if you want a hot coffee you can hold it there yes and uh if you want it um cold you can hold it there yeah we can call that also a drink holder Drink holder, yeah, a drink holder. Mm -hmm. Drink holder, yeah, okay. That's that's in the in the chat. Very good. Uh, just a few more ideas. Omar, what about you? Any any like interesting, any any interesting item that you think it's a great product to sell? Do you have any? Yeah, I'm thinking about the jacket or a calculator. A calculator. For the students, for the students. All right, a calculator for students. That's a great idea too. People love, uh, people love making operations easier. Claudia, what about you? Do you have any any uh, any interesting idea? Mm, probably not yet. All right, let's. No, I'm uh, just thinking about the virus. Uh, maybe a product against uh, virus, COVID. Okay. 
All right. So uh, a product for protection for COVID-19. Yes. That sounds good. Like which one? What type? Sanitizer. Sanitizer. Yeah. Sanitizer is a great idea. Why not? <laughs> but, <Yeah>. it <exists. laughs> but it exists already. <laughs> You know what? You know what's what's very good. A friend of mine and his father uh, made with with their hands and wood. Oh, masks! Why not mask? That's a great idea too. So so these guys built uh, built a kind of dispenser, a wooden dispenser, and uh, you don't have to use your hands, you know, or or push this. But you automatic. It's not. It's not automatic. You. You. It's uh, with a pedal. So you. You step on a pedal, and uh, the sanitizer falls on your hand. Probably it's not a very new idea because in many supermarkets they have, you know, they have uh, beautiful, uh, beautifully manufactured um, uh, sanitizer dispensers, don't they? You, you can see many in the, in the, in the supermarkets, people have lots of them, but uh, they made one too. And it's because they have a, a, a dairy product store, uh, dairy products, you know, you know, their dairy products, like in the chat, you know, keep, keep track of the chat. Do you know dairy products like uh, cheese, cream and butter? Those are dairy products. So my friend has a, a dairy product store and uh, with, with his father, they manufactured uh, a machine to uh, like a dispenser for hand sanitizer. It's pretty good and they sold it and, it, and it's given good results. Great, so uh, well, we keep talking about products but now we'll work mainly on, on a product testing. Let's go over some questions. So let me share my screen with you. Beatrice, welcome. And uh, who else in here is, uh, all right, yeah, just, I think Maria was coming back. All right, but let's just check on this. Look, uh, here, uh, here, let me see, I have uh, this have you these questions so let's discuss them together please uh claudia can you read the questions let's start mm -hmm. yes have you ever heard the term product testing there are two primary types of tests to evaluate a product the site and handling test and the use test. What do you know about them? Okay, great. So first question, have you heard about the, the term product testing? Do you know what that is? Uh, have you heard about it ever? Anybody? Anybody, anybody? Have you heard about that? Anybody? Well, uh, let's see. So, you, have you, has anybody heard about the term uh, product testing? What comes to your mind when you, when you see this, uh, this word? What comes to your mind when you hear product testing? Let's let's see. Anybody? Yes, Maria. I I think when uh, um how do, how do you say um, lanzar a product? When you um, launch, yeah. Launch. Yes, a launch yeah, a product and um the mer merchandising is um um the people um tasting the product this uh work this is the work or or doesn't work okay i don't 
I think so. Yeah, good. So that that's a great that's a that's a good uh, that's a good opinion. It's uh, when uh, when a company tests the product and see if it works or not. All right. So that's what uh, that's what product testing means. All right. Uh, let's see. Anybody else? Any other idea about uh, about product testing? Or uh, when the company try to verify to, uh, uh, if the product is, uh, is approved for the customer or okay. reject it. All right, yeah. When we can approve the launching of a product or just reject it because probably it's not very good. Like it. All right, great. Uh, any other opinions here? Any other opinions? When the product uh, take uh, mm, several uh, conditions or a uh, guarantee. Okay, so what, so when we all right, so when uh, when the product is put under conditions, right? All right, and we test it. All right, well that's that's good. That's a, a great opinion too. All right, so then uh, we have uh, two main, uh, two primary types of testing, the site, site and handling test, uh, testing and the use test. What do you know about these uh, terms? If you happen to know anything about these terms like site and handling test, and the use test. Meaning outside teacher or handle test. So, so what do you mean that, that these words are new for you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. It's okay. So what's the meaning of site? Site is a uh, is a uh, to to see. Okay. To see it right. Uh, yeah. Okay, like for example, oh look at the site. Hey, have you seen the uh have you seen the site in the the, the view in Los the Planes? <laughs> yeah, it's it's beautiful. You see oh San Salvador over there. And uh also if you go to uh if you go to uh Chalatenango and you climb the mountain, yeah, you climb the mountain and over there in the top. You have a beautiful sight, a, a beautiful view in there. So sight is uh, this sense, okay? We have five senses, cinco sentidos, right? Sight, la vista, okay? Sight, smell, taste, and uh, touch. So those are the five, uh, five senses. So sight, and then handling, all right? Handling, like, you know, like, Taken. Clear now, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, handling, like when you take something with your hands, that's another word. So the that one, sight and handling test is probably a visual, right? And any kind of a, yeah, physical, physical test, okay? Visual and a physical. So if we do a hand, uh, a sight and handling test is about the, about the, about the, about the appearance, okay? It's about the appearance. It's about the appearance. And uh, and probably the size of the product, appearance and the size of the product, where it, whether it's too big, it's uh, too small, or it's uh, too heavy. So that is a that is a that is a that's what it has to do with, right? Those are the two type primary types. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> now let's do something very quick. 
some of you guys grabbed a product, you know, some of you had a product in your hands. So let's do a quick hand, uh, sorry, let's do a quick side and handling test. So for example, I said uh, the phone stand. Well, to me, and let's uh, put it somewhere like, oh yeah, now you can see it better. So to me, this, this looks very appealing. Se ve como muy atractivo. It's very appealing and it's very light. It's very practical and it's very small, right? And I can carry it everywhere. I like it very much. What about you? What about the, your, your product ideas? Can you tell me what are the characteristics of them just by doing a simple uh, handling, you know, uh, site and handling test. What are the characteristics of your products? Let's, uh, let's brainstorm that, all right? And uh, FYI, if you came late, si vino algo tarde, lo único que tiene que hacer ahorita es buscar, digamos, cualquier producto que usted cree, considere que es una idea innovadora, una buena idea, y vamos a hacer un site and handling test. El site and handling test es prácticamente la, la prueba de, digamos, la apariencia del artículo o la, también el, como digamos, las dimensiones, o sea, qué tan grande es, qué tan práctico de cargar es y todo lo demás. Ok, so everybody has to have one item. Please show in the camera what your item is. I have my phone stand. Anybody else? All right. My protector's font. <laughs> uh, okay, your your case, your phone case. All right, then uh, Camilla has her wire, uh, wireless mouse. And uh, I guess uh, Alelia has, oh, she has her head, her headphones in there. Uh, what about you, Beatrice? Get a product yourself. Anything that you can think of. Just, I don't know, whatever you think, it's a great idea. It's practical. You can also... You can also, you know, find it. like any other object, probably a hair clip, whatever. Hi. Sorry, teacher. I, I don't understand. Um, I think other um, product, but I, I know. You don't know. You don't know what to pick. Just pick anything, girl. Just anything. Cualquier cosa. Your headphones. <laughs> yeah. Manos libres? No sé cómo se dice. Yeah, the, a headset. A headset. Aleida has a headset already. Yeah. It's, 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 All right. It's Good. Pretty. Yeah. It's not pretty. Yeah, they, they, they have a... Yeah, what else? Uh, all right. All right, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> They're practical too. Great, great. Very good. Hey, guys. Uh, uh, yes? Uh, they have a good base. Good base. Mm -hmm. They have a good bass and a good sound. All right. That's good. So look, guys, uh, we are going to break our rooms. We'll work in small groups and uh, do our hand, uh, our uh, sight, sight and handling test. Okay. With a small group. So whatever you have in your hands, uh, you're going to do that uh, little Side and handling test, and then uh, you share your opinions about your item, and also listen to your classmates' opinions about your item. That's important too. So uh, let's work in small groups and do our quick uh, product testing. All right, great. So let's do it. So work in small groups. All right, that will work for me.
All right, please accept the invitation I'm sending, All right? Hey, Andrea. All right, good. Omar, did you get the invitation? Omar? Let's check it. All right, he did. Awesome. Let's go ahead and check it. All right. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hey. Hola. Andy. Me escucha. Yes, we can hear you. We can hear ah, you. Ah, vaya. Es que no puedo, no puedo, no me funciona la cámara. Really? Oh, I see. It's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you can't show your product. So, mm -hmm. but, yeah. But you can also give your opinion about Claudia's product and about mine too. Okay. Uh, okay. So, all right. So, what about what do you think about mine, Andrea? Mm, it's it's cheaper. It's mm -hmm. yeah. good. I like your selfie stick. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it, uh, it's it's uh, it's good. And uh, what do you think about the, the size of it? Mm. It's good because it's portable. Yeah, good. That's a great <laughs> word. It's portable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, it's very practical to carry around. Yeah. I like, I like uh, your color. I like your color. Uh, it's mm -hmm. color. You like it? Ah, yeah. I like it's color. Mm -hmm. Blue. Yeah, blue is, a, is, is my favorite color. <laughs> Great, yeah. All right, very good. Um, let's see. Uh, how about you, Claudia? What is yours about? My product is a mirror. A mirror. Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's, it's nice. And this is the other side. Mm. And this piece, it's. I don't know. Just oh, it's move. oh yeah, it's a it's a flexible stand. Yes. I like it, like it very much. Yes. All right, great. I I'll like to just for women. <laughs> oh, it's only for women. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah you, uh, you, it's a good gift too. It's a good gift. All right, I'll go it's check the other thing. group. All right. Okay. Bye. Okay. You see you later. So how about over here? Hey, are you are you girls done? Have you finished? Yes. That was that was very quick. <laughs> very simple. Yeah, good. <laughs> All right. So uh, so it was uh, Maria's uh, Maria's drink holder. And uh, Aleida's, what was uh, what was your product? Your headphones. All right, your headphones. And uh, Camila, wh what was yours? My uh, mouse wireless. All right, your wireless, your wireless, wireless mouse. mouse. Okay. Great. Teacher, how how do you say the surname? Mess. Mess. Yeah. Mess. M E S S. I'll spell it out here. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Mess. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. I'll go check on the other group. All right. Be right back to you. Okay.
the price is uh for me it's it's, it's, uh, it's cheaper right because cheaper. Uh, how many how many <laughs> I know uh, this. Uh, I think uh, the price is uh, twenty dollars, right? But uh, but uh, maybe you protect uh, 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 equipment that is is expensive, right? Uh, a smartphone. Uh, yeah. What material do you use about your product? Yes, it's a. Uh, I think it's a plastic. Me metal. Right? No plastic. plastic. Okay. Plastic, right? It's a plastic. Okay. Okay. But good. It's a good idea for me. Uh, what about you, Beatrice? Beatrice is a stand, a stood up. Beatrice is gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. she, she was gone for a minute. But uh, okay. Hi, Beatrice. She's back. Try to promote your <laughs> teacher. I, I, I have a double. Is, is a headphone or? What, what did the current uh, uh, words for the, the kind this of... This is a, yeah, we can call it a headset. Headset? Headset. Okay. Yeah, and, and we call it headset because it has a microphone too. Okay. It's not only the, the, the earbuds. These are called earbuds. Okay. Ah, okay. Only this. But okay. it, it's if you only listen through them. But if you have a microphone to speak through them, they are, it's a, it's a headset because you listen headset. and speak. Okay, thank you. All right, good. All right, Beatriz, what about you? What do you have to show? Hi, <laughs> teacher. Um. No me pregunte, porque no sé hablar inglés. <laughs> ah, pero, um, my product uh, is Mary Kay. Ah, Mary Kay, good. <laughs> it's, my, it's my favorite uh, brand. <laughs> okay. Really? Um, yes. Is the, the green? Um, um, um foaming cleanser um, uh, um is a good is 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 um what is it para 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 limpieza clean um limpiar y for cleaning yeah for lim limpiadora y y y humectante como le dice Moisturizing, yeah, moisturizing. Moisturizing, yeah, and clean and cleaning. Okay, great, great. Now, uh, and how about uh, your uh, sight and handling? Is it uh, is a cream uh, pack or too small, too big, or um, does it look good? to your eye or or it looks not appealing what's your opinion about about the product itself uh, what is yeah. your mm -hmm. no, no, comprendido. no no what probar y, y probar, o cómo probar? Uh, no como como cuál es su opinión sobre digamos el, el tamaño del producto y la y en the en the, the appearance o sea como de la apariencia ah it's good. It's, it's, um, um, how about the manu? But yes, it is it's como decirlo, el tamaño regular está bien. It's regular. It has a re yeah, nice. regular size. Ah. Me regular um, es fresca. Um, it's, all right, it's fresh too. All right, that's more about you. Great. Um, rich, um, rich in the face um, and neck. But it's okay. I think uh, somewhat what you have right now it's 
من کامالا هنیک هست. What you have so far it's okay. A good price. Okay. All right. All right. It's a good price. All right. Fine. That's okay. <laughs> Next time you complete, you make a complete description. Jonathan, welcome. How are you? Hello. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. I'm Right Late. now, I'm eating. I having dinner. <laughs> You're having dinner. Okay. All right. You, you finish your your dinner calmly. Okay. But stay here and listen. All right. Stay here in the in the meeting and listen. Um, we're going back to the main session. Okay. Okay. So. Good evening, classmate. Teacher, you mute. Jesus. Sorry. So, uh, oh, my bad. Oh, Sorry. My bad. <laughs> and I was all happy, all carried away. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yes. Now, does anybody want to share their ideas with the class? Alguien quiere compartir su their sight and handling test? Does anybody want to talk about it now? Anybody? Me? Okay. Uh, we uh, go with Mary first, and then Romulo uh, go, goes next. Okay. Okay, to Camila's and product. Um, okay. Uh, wireless um, mouse is a practical because it's a uh, very small, and she took a backpack and. Worlds is uh, um, her color uh, it's a uh, purple. <laughs> All right, it's purple. Uh -huh. Okay, great, very good. Um, let's see anybody else. Uh, Romulo, you said you wanted to talk about yours. This is a case phone. Mm -hmm, a phone case, yes. The font case, uh, it's, uh, the the uh, for me is a uh, very in, in in a good product because uh, adapted to, to the shape of the font okay. easily. All right. And the weight is just is it's not heavy. It's uh, uh, and and you can found in different colors. Yeah. Uh, the materials is uh, resistant to Great. the heat. Yep. And when you, your phone then drop or your phone fold, is this correct, teacher? Fold. Folds. Yeah. Yeah. Folds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, protect your phone. Yeah. Because uh, if the price is, uh, for me, this is uh, cheaper, it's, it's not expensive. Okay, great, great, very good, very good. So now we will we will uh, go ahead and uh, just listen to a few of you. Anybody else who would like to share? Again, más que quiera compartir. Anybody else before? Okay, all right. Now more about product testing. There there are other ideas of product testing to check on. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, watch a quick uh, video here. All right, just give me a second. Just have to close a few programs here. And let's see how this works. All right. 
we are going to watch a video, okay, about product testing, about a company that is testing a vacuum cleaner. Hey, do you know what a, do you guys have a vacuum cleaner at home? Do you have a vacuum cleaner? I, wish. I don't have, but uh, I know what <laughs> kind of product is, is this. Oh, all right, you know what it is. And uh, Claudia says, I wish. Claudia, do you have a rug in your, um, in your, at home? Do you have rugs uh, or, or carpet at home? No. No? You, you but know? For my couch. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's very helpful. Uh, vacuum cleaner is very helpful for your couch because it's easier to clean it with the vacuum instead of uh, I don't know how, how to really how to clean it otherwise. So great, I like it. Um, uh, all right, anybody else? Anybody else? Any other ideas? I have a little vacuum for my car for cleaning. Really? It, yeah, I, for the the roof. But my husband. Uh your husband for your husband's car. All right. So that one we can call it a handheld. Handheld like portable handheld look at the chat handheld means portable okay portable like uh the the regular vacuum cleaner is big but you have a handheld vacuum cleaner all right good anybody else any other opinions any other opinions well so here they're going to test their new their new vacuum cleaner model. So uh, let's check how they do it. So let's uh, let's watch this video. see I think the audio is oh yeah there is no let's watch from the beginning Most of our products will start with a problem or a frustration, and that's all done in our new product innovations team. So Dyson 9, which is part of our campus expansion, is where all of our NPI and our research teams are focused. They'll start by working out what the problem is, they'll go through as many different ways as they could think of of solving that problem, and they'll develop them to a point where they think, yeah, this, this concept looks good. I think we can do something with this concept. On something new, like Supersonic, it can take up to four years. You've probably seen a lot of the um, prototypes we did of Supersonic. So we, we went through eight, nine, ten different iterations. So each iteration will look different, it will work slightly differently, but each time it fails, we'll learn from how it's failed, we'll improve that, and then we'll, we'll make it better the next time. Going into a new category, we wanted to pull on our reputation within you know, our floor care, our environmental control and our commercial products as well. We came across a lot of the problems that people encounter, you know, the rate at which hair dries or over drying your hair or under drying your hair. The shaping of the product and with bore through the middle um, means we can use our air multiplication technology and what that does is it turns our 13 litres a second into an overall flow of over 40 litres a second. So it means we can, once we can heat that air up, we can get a, an excellent dry rate. And we noticed through development that we, we had 11 blades on, on the impeller itself. So you know it's going around 110,000 times a minute. What our engineers decided was that if we added two more and blades into that pellet, it would push a lot of the annoying tones beyond the audible range, which means we actually have a very quiet product. I mean, you can talk over the products. The Supersonic is quite, it's quite a good example. It's one of the later, latest products where acoustic was really one of the key features right from the start. The usual silencing acoustic approach would be to put a lot of foam everywhere. That's the easiest way. But the problem becomes that space is at premium, so usually it's a better idea to just design things 
quiet from the start have a layer that's fundamentally quieter. For example, in the supersonic, you have a motor inside the handle, which means that it's not jetting air and noise straight at your face. So having this different layout fundamentally means the product will naturally be quiet. Here instead we work completely different frequency range. We work with electromagnetic waves instead of uh, uh, acoustic waves. And this chamber allows you to, to take measurement to measure, for example, the spectrum of the product without any ambient noise. So everything that is generated by the product is measured by the antenna only and not reflected by, by the walls. For most of, our, of the approvals, we, we can actually uh, do the certification job here. So these are the main targets for protecting the radio spectrum and making sure our product is reliable in, a, in the intended electromagnetic environment. Our history is built in airflow and motors and temperature. So we have the expertise and we have the, um, the people here to do certain things, which is why a lot of our products tend to follow a particular trend. It's not that we set out to do them, it's just that that's, the people we have here are very good at those particular areas. But nothing's off limits. All right, all right, let's uh, stop sharing. So uh, they, uh, they make vacuum cleaners and uh, also they tested, uh, what else, what product did they test? Do you remember? What product? Hair dryer. Hair, hair dress? A hair dryer, yeah. Let's hair dryer. Put hair dryer. I think it's like this. Yeah, hair dryer. So, um, how many of you girls, uh, or even boys, you know, some boys use it. How many of you have a, a hair dryer at home? Well, um, me. Yeah. All right, you do have. Are you? Yes. Okay, great. And uh, yeah. you, you do have one, Omar. All right, that's good. Yeah. And, all right. Uh, me too. You do have one, Indra. Great. Uh, tell me, what are some of the things that you dislike, that you don't like about your hair dryer? Uh, the acoustic or the, the noise? The noise. So you hate the noise. Okay. You don't have one, but I imagine your, your, your wife has one, don't she, doesn't she, uh, Romulo? You don't have one, but probably your your wife has one, right? Why yes. not? My my wife. <laughs> okay, but he doesn't like the noise it makes. You're watching TV. Your wife is disturbed. Your yeah, it's disturbing, right? The noise right. is disturbing. So they uh, they addressed this this uh, problem. They tested. Um, they tested the products, uh, the products, uh, acoustics, the sound of the engine. All right. So that's why they made it very small too. All right. What else is it that you don't like about the hair dryers, girls? I don't like, uh, because the cost to energy when I use the hair. Uh, okay. I got you. All right, the, the energy, energy consumption. So the, uh, the energy consumption is also a problem, isn't it? Because it, 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 it drains a lot of electric energy. Great, any other thing that you dislike about it? I think it's boring your, your face. It burns you yes. Really? It does? Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Okay, I didn't know that. In many, in, in many occasions, of course. All right, so in many occasions, it burns your face. Yes. So, so wow, so it's interesting. So, let me, let me get this straight. So, when a girl gets her hair dried, she makes up after that oh, right? yes. Uh, yes okay you know you women are a little complicated but, but you're fine <laughs> it's, it's, yes 
Yes, yes. <laughs> of course, of course, it's necessary. Yeah, so, so, all right, that's interesting. So they address that problem, all right? They address that problem of, a, of, a, of the acoustics and the temperature, all right? Because they, you don't want to have that. So how many, in how many ways did they test the product? Should we watch one more time? Lo vemos de nuevo. And uh, just uh, collect, you know, think of how many tests they run into the product, okay? And if you can name it, it's better, like sound, size, you know, el tamaño, size, or anything else that you, you saw they tested. Let's watch one more time. Yeah, they speak a little funny, by the way. Habla un poquito raro ellos, que son irlandeses. But, but uh, don't worry. Do you have subtitles in there? So just follow very it. Very fast, too. Very fast. Yes, yes, I know, I know. It's very fast, but, but it's natural English. It's a little different, but it's natural. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good thing about it. So we, we watch again and just uh, check how many times they tested their product. All right, let's go for it. Most of our products will start with a problem or a frustration, and that's all done in our new product innovations team. So Dyson 9, which is part of our campus expansion, is where all of our NPI and our research teams are focused. They'll start by working out what the problem is, they'll go through as many different ways as they could think of of solving that problem, and they'll develop them to a point where they think, yeah, this, this concept looks good. I think we can do something with this concept. On something new, like Supersonic, it can take up to four years. You've probably seen a lot of the um, prototypes we did of Supersonic. So we, we went through eight, nine, ten different iterations. So each iteration will look different, it will work slightly differently, but each time it fails, we'll learn from how it's failed, we'll improve that, and then we'll, we'll make it better the next time. Going into a new category, we wanted to pull on our reputation within you know, our floor care, our environmental control, and our commercial products as well. We came across a lot of the problems that people encounter, you know, the rate at which hair dries, or over drying your hair, or under drying your hair. The shaping of the product, and with bore through the middle, um, means we can use our air multiplication technology. And what that does is it turns our 13 liters a second into an overall flow of over 40 liters a second. So it means we can, once we can heat that air up, we can get a, an excellent dry rate. And we noticed through development that we, we had 11 blades on, on the impeller itself. So, you know, it's going around 110,000 times a minute. What our engineers decided was that if we added two more and blades into that pellet, it would push a lot of the annoying tones beyond the audible range, which means we actually have a very quiet product. I mean, you can talk over the products. The Supersonic is quite, it's quite a good example. It's one of the later, latest products where acoustic was really one of the key features right from the start. For usual silencing, acoustic approach would be to put a lot of foam everywhere. That's the easiest way. But the problem becomes that the space is at premium, so usually, it's a better idea to just design things quiet from the start, have a layer that's fundamentally quieter. For example, in the supersonic, you have a motor inside the handle, which means that it's not jetting air and noise straight at your face. So having this different layout fundamentally means the product will naturally be quiet. Here instead we work completely different frequency range. We work with electromagnetic waves instead of uh, uh, acoustic waves. And this, chamber allows you to, to take measurement to measure, for example, the spectrum of the product without any ambient noise. So everything that is generated by the product is measured by the antenna only and not reflected by, by the walls. 
for most of, our, of the approvals, we, we can actually uh, do the certification job here. So these are the main targets for protecting the radio spectrum and making sure our product is reliable in, a, in the intended electromagnetic environment. Our history is built in airflow and motors and temperature, so we have the expertise and we have the, um, the people here to do certain things, which is why a lot of our products tend to follow a particular trend. It's not that we set out to do them, it's just that that's, the people we have here are very good at those particular areas, but nothing's off limits. All right. All right. So, uh, in uh, in how many ways did they test the product? All right. So, in how many ways did you see? Uh, Andrea says they tested its size. Yes, they tested its size. So we can say that you know they did a little handling test. What else? In, in which other way did they test uh, the product? They tested the, remember? In acoustic. The acoustics, right? The drying time, Aleida says. Yeah, that's true. The drying time. And, and, and that's important too. Just like uh, Maria said, you hate the heat of a, of a hair dryer. So the shorter time, the better. So like, how long does it regularly take for you to dry your hair, uh, Maria? How long does it usually take? One minute, five minutes, 10 minutes? How long? Um, when I use, uh, depends maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes uh, uh -huh. so from 15 to 20 minutes so yes. do you depends think in the long of the hair oh good that depends on the length of your hair okay <laughs> yes. you know this is a good in this class we're understanding women better <laughs> okay great great so it, it depends on the, on, the, on, the, on the length of your hair, on how long your hair is. Great. So, uh, so can you imagine instead of uh, 15 minutes, probably five minutes, do you think that's, that's better? Yes, absolutely. Okay, yes. all right, good. Good, so the drying time, they tested the drying time. They tested acoustics. And uh, they also test uh, tested the the size of it. Okay, so look, people test their products in so many ways, and every time something goes wrong, they learn from their mistake. Don't forget this phrase: learn from your mistakes. Okay, they learn from uh, their mistakes, right? So if something went wrong, they did another one, a different one to, uh, to, to improve their product itself. Okay, uh, we're about to run attendance. Let's now check on uh, this. I want you to please uh, read this. All right. Uh, so please uh, let me ask. Uh, let me ask Camilla. Camilla, can you read uh, what the highlighted section, please? Okay. Mm. Sorry, this I can see because my my computer. I don't. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. All right. Good. Product testing are necessary. Product products are to be followed before deciding the uh, deciding to create in more products. The following conversation ensures a group and managers in meeting. 
to discuss strategy for testing the new product read the conversation. Okay, good. So uh, after I run attendance, after I run attendance, we're going to read the conversation and uh, and see what the what these people did. All right, just a second, guys. Let's uh, run attendance. Voy a pasarles asistencia, okay? Because I have to, and it's important. Just okay, so August the tenth. All right, let's see. Jose, mm, Jose is not here. One more time. Uh, Katia Maria Soriano de Santana. I bet she isn't here either. Gladys Aminta Merino. Well, I think she's deleted from the list. Ana Grisela Iglesias. Let's see, is there a comment in here? It's about her. Okay, great. Romulo Pompilio Romero Torres. Present teacher. Okay, got you. Claudia Evelyn Hernandez. Present. Okay, it is Dorotea Sanchez Figueroa. Yeah, she couldn't make. Ella no pudo venir. Maria Belen Quintanilla Barquero. Present. Okay, thank you. Cesar Vladimir Romero. Mm, not here. Omar Inmer Gámez Linares. Present, teacher. Got you. And uh, Ana Lilian González de Peraza. Not here. Uh, Shane Zohar Demin Cabrera. Not here. Arabella Parada Gámez. Arabella Parada Gámez. Yeah. Uh, but she's not here, I guess. Okay. Uh, Mario Enrique Mar Marquez Celaya. Mario isn't here yet. Hey, some people have taken longer vacation, like a lot of people. Uh, Gloria Beatriz Elias, Alegría Oriana. Gloria, no. Mm. I'm Elia. present, teacher. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, great. Uh, Samuel, Elias Samuel Oriana Perez. No, no está. Adolfo Jonathan Rodriguez Parada. I'm here, teacher. Okay, got you. Aleida Elizabeth Juarez de Guevara. Present. All right. Andrea Elizabeth Sigüenza Mejía. Andrea, si sí, Andrea si sí está aquí. I remember her. Camila Calles Minero. Present, teacher. Okay, got you. Oh, all right. Uh, so let's go back. Teacher, I'm here. Who, who, and Andrea? Sí. Yeah, uh, yeah. I marked, I marked your attendance. So don't okay. worry. You are all good. You look present. I mean, you, you are marked as present. Well, all right. So where were we? Okay. Yeah. Conversation. Yeah. Conversation. One more time. Let's check what these people did as to their product testing. So. Okay, all right. So uh, yes, we know what uh, why product testing is important before deciding to new to create a new product, right? So uh, let's see here, what kind of people are are there in here? 
What kind of people do you think they are? Executive. They're they're executives. Yes, they're executives. They're they're managers. All right, and they are in a meeting. They're they're in a meeting discussing. Both. Yeah, buzzes. Yeah, they're they are definitely buzzes, executives, and they're uh, they're discussing the how to test a new product. So we're gonna have a couple of people reading this. Let me see how many went to Mr. Velez, Mr. Avila, and uh, Mr. Ayala. Okay, well, let's see, Romulo and uh and uh omar and let's ask let's ask uh see you got a text here i am mister right <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah of course of course yeah that'll okay. be and uh yeah we need a miss too we need a miss who's gonna be that miss uh let's ask let's ask uh Alida, you're gonna be that miss, okay? So, uh, yeah, so Omar, uh, sorry. Yeah, Omar, you'll be Mr. Belez and uh, Ms. Ayala is gonna be Alida and uh, Mr. Avila is gonna be Romulo. So please, go ahead, read the conversation. We wanna, we wanna hear you. Okay, good morning. I'm trying to announce we have a green light to work on our latest product testing task. One of the good things I like about, about working. Uh, continue, continue. It's still you. Ah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. All right, good, good. Let's continue. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The effort this task requires are important to take in account, into account. All right, All right, good, good. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Uh, Mr. Avila, Romulo, you're Mr. Avila. Okay, I'm on a deep test so we can discuss that take a look take a look wait 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 wait, wait. here definitely ah. okay definitely i have already written some idea for a monadic test so we can discuss then take take a look okay thank you and uh, who's uh, mr velez Good job. Figure out the cost. It's some difficult decision to make reference to fancy materials and cost versus quality. Yeah, cost versus quality. That's important. Yeah. All right, let's continue. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is a managing cost. And I am good at that. Okay, great, great, very good. So, uh, well, look, they are gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna work on a product testing. So, let's check on uh, these comprehension questions. All right. So, what product testing strategy is uh, mentioned in this? Uh, in this uh, conversation. What kind of product testing? What kind of product testing? Can you see it here? Let's, let's go over it. So, all uh, right. Go like, I'm thrilled to announce we have a green light to blah, blah, blah. One of the things I like about working with you, the efforts and the blah, blah, blah. Definitely, I have written some ideas for a... For, Monaic 
Test. Monadic. Monadic. Test. Okay. All right. Uh, well, we'll see what that is about. All right. Then, uh, what specific concern does Mr. Velez have about this product? What is his uh, what worries him about this product? The cost. Cost. Material, fancy materials and cost. Business. All right, the cost of the product. All right, good. So that's something that uh, that he is uh, very concerned about. All right, good. All right, then uh, we have uh, another another uh, another question here. That's the last one. Uh, and what is Mr. Avila's uh, job? What is he in charge of? What is Mr. Avila in charge of? Manager. All right. So he's like uh, he's like a manager. And what is managing costs? The boss. All right. All right. Managing costs, okay. Managing so costs. he's gonna manage the cost of the test, right? Mm. <clears throat> so if you notice, companies uh, also spend money on their testing. So uh, they they do these these different types of tests, okay, and they do spend money on doing that. All right, so uh, let's check on different ways of uh, testing a product. You know, just some Teacher, idea. Teacher, I have a question. Monadic, yes. what did they mean monadic? Uh, it's, that is, uh, that is when uh, you show research about a product and uh, you compare it to another, uh, to another products or concept. Another product. Okay. Yeah. So, for example, you have a uh, you have a uh, your uh, your your phone case, and uh -huh. uh, you compare it to other phone cases yeah. in the market. Yeah. Thank you. you. Very good. So let's see other uh, product testing. Uh, product testing strategies, and let's see which ones come up. Oh, we have uh, we have different methods in here, so let's let's check on them. Let's check on on the different ways that we can test the product just very quickly over here. All right, good. So uh, we can we can do it in in uh, in many different ways. All right, it it can be done as a unit test. All right. So let's see what this one is about, and you tell me what you understand about it. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, great. So unit test in product development. This is one, this is a type of testing. Jonathan, can you read what this is about, please? Okay, Develop, developers. Developers, yeah. Developers. developers. Developers often conduct unit tests prior to the formal testing stage, which actually, actually makes them part of the first phase of testing. During unit testing, the develop, developer mm -hmm. runs the new requirement which is expected to complete its discrete task. task. Okay, all right. So before you actually do the testing, you do this, uh, you do this uh, unit, unit testing 
all right? So look at this example. When building an address import system, unit tests involves uh, pressing the import button, bringing the addresses into the system. Like for example, if you're a software developer, like if you make uh, applications uh, for phones or for, uh, or for, <clears throat> or for, uh, for computers, uh, what you do is testing the new button, right? And uh, it help it, this testing this product individually helps you uh, not not focusing on the other features but one alone. Okay, so for example, I have uh, this one, this one product, and uh, I want to test. I want to make like a kind of unit test. So I test probably only the legs of the stand, okay? Just checking the legs themselves, not the whole device, not the whole item, but just the legs. Are the legs practical? Oh yeah, good. Are they flexible? That's what I test. So I test only the legs, not everything. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, so many times when the uh, the designers are uh, uh, draw uh, some uh, a product. Yes. Uh, when the the uh, the person who lo fabrica the manufacturer the uh, manufacturer, manufacturer is the are different uh, when uh, like like the the draw to the to the designer i i work in the in the uh, mechanic plant okay uh, uh, they're manufacturing many products in in the metal. Oh, they make metal products. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and we uh, many times have dif difference in, in into between the draw and the physics. Uh, the physical. Unit. All uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. That's good. And uh, why do you think that? you guys don't use the initial drawing. Why do you change uh, the design? Uh, uh, in sometimes, and uh, so many, you know, sometimes, uh, maybe uh, a forms or uh, the, uni the la uniones, no sé cómo se dice, uniones. Uh, the joints. Joints and the uh, uh, are 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 not possible to the draw to the, in the where the designer draw the product. Okay, so it's sometimes it's not possible to follow the design because uh, it's uh, probably not uh, not practical, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and can and can manufacturing the like like the drum is not possible okay all right so i got you mm -hmm. so that's probably why it doesn't work one way okay great great very good very good so let's continue checking on uh, on uh, on uh, these uh, product development ideas, right? We have just uh, a few more a few more ideas, right? Great, and also we have uh, we have some product testing ideas in your in your textbook. Okay, so let's check on those. Do you guys have any other questions as to vocabulary 
in the in the conversation ahí, ahí pusieron por ahí puso, puso alguien a uh, effort que no sabían qué significaba effort hay algún hay, hay otra palabra que ustedes digamos necesiten que que se defina o que o que repasemos no no there isn't any other okay all right no no we're all good okay great great very good so just let me check on something here very quick so if uh we're we're uh we're all good with vocabulary uh we are going to check on some advantages of product testing okay vamos a revisar unas cuantas ventajas de product testing so let's uh read them together oh thrilled okay thrilled that's a good that's a good uh that's when you are like excited okay excited like uh como emocionado okay so you say ah uh, we're thrilled uh, to announce o sea estamos muy estamos muy eh, quizás no emocionados okay yeah we we're that we're happy okay mm -hmm. nos o nos alegra eh, comunicar okay so good good now let's check on some uh advantages of product testing vamos a ver unas cuantas eh, unas cuantas ventajas de product testing so let's read it here and let me ask uh, mary mary can you read this please so um how does applying product testing help it helps in a variety of ways. Can you tell us what ways it helps us in, uh, Mary? Okay, measure the effect of uh, uh, aging aging on product. Okay. As acceler accelerate accelerate life mm -hmm. life testing makes sure product can withstand the test of time and it is especially important for technology based business okay all right for for technology based business so it's helpful because uh, here we can uh, see if our product will last long uh, have you seen how fast technology changes? Technology changes very, very fast, doesn't it? So uh, it's important that we know, it's important that we know how long our product will be good. How many, how many products have you seen that are, uh, are not working anymore. ¿Cuántos productos han visto ustedes que dejan de funcionar o que la gente tiene los tiene como en desuso? How many technological products? Like, can you think of uh, some of those that people don't use anymore? The CD? CDs, yeah. It's DVDs. It's, <laughs> DVDs are mm -hmm. gone. Okay. And cassettes. what cassettes? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, because yeah, some some computers too, right? It seems like everything you can do on a computer, you can do it on your phone too. So those are those are uh, those are reasons why product testing is important, right? Because you test how long your 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 uh, your product will work on. Do you think that Netflix will be here, is, is here to stay? Probably not. There can be better things than, than Netflix probably in the future. How about TV channels? How many of you watch TV? Do you still watch TV? You guys still watch TV? 
And uh, you? I can I you I, I don't watch you don't watch TV. All right, Romulo doesn't watch TV. What about you? Uh, well, I don't personally watch TV much. I rarely watch TV because I can watch whatever I want ads free on the internet and on Netflix and uh, on uh, whatever. I can just go Google whatever I, w I want to in, in, on YouTube too. I watch everything in there. All right, so that is why it helps, you know, knowing how long a product can last. All right, great. More ideas, more ideas in here. Uh, are there any other products that we don't use anymore? Products that have aged. Do you know about any? We already said the DVD. Hey, do you think people still buy DVDs? Do you know people who, who still buy DVDs? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, my father buy uh, movies. Okay, so he, he buys movies. All right, but, uh, but, uh, sorry, go ahead. And my son, uh, when he like, um, a movie she watched the movie in the on the dvd a hundred a hundred times <laughs> okay until the disc is broken <laughs> yeah. until all right that, that must be that must be a lot of fun all right good not only technology product uh, uh, on yeah. time cosmetic and food products too okay those products are uh, those products also age that's true that's true they also age they get old like which ones can you give us uh, some examples uh omar uh, the makeup makeup no, right. maquillaje makeup. makeup yeah makeup the uh, sticks <laughs> all right good so, El milk. All right. Whatever. whatever. Yes. Drink. All right. Yes, please. Teacher, maybe Omar say this para las cejas. The 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 eye uh the eyeliner. I think it's called that that way. Uh -huh. Algunos ya antes se hacía digamos así de forma manual con pinza. Pero ha ido como evolucionando y ahora lo hacen con láser también. Really? Sí. Wow, that, that looks, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, that, it definitely does. It definitely does. Mm -hmm. So, uh, all right, good guys. So, uh, we are going to, we're going to look at some new vocabulary. Vamos a ver un, unas, vamos a ver unas uh, different types of product testing okay in here so in your manual this is in your in your students manual so you can you you can see this okay the different strategies of product testing let me share with you share it with you here all right so uh here we do, we have different types of uh of a uh, product testing so first one we have the site and handling test okay which one is this which one is this site and handling test let's match it hey you can also use the zoom span or text to to type the answer so you can do it yourself you know, complete the, the exercise yourself too. So let's see, site and handling, consumer use or site and handle the product then another are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. So this one seems to be, yeah, number one. Hey, how about you guys? Help me out, let's find the others.
or you can also do it yourselves so you can use zoom's pen hay una herramienta que dice anotar so there is an annotate uh, tool click on it and the uh, pen will come up y luego desaparece texto y ahí seleccionan texto y pueden escribir en cualquier espacio All right, let's see, let's see. So, uh, all right, uh, you can look, there is a text. Hay una que tiene un, de símbolo, una, una T. That's, that one is for text. So, all right, monetic, yeah, all right. Use a prog sighting handle, they rate it, and they use sighting handle another product and rate it. The consumer does not rate. Okay, that makes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's keep going here. Okay, uh, let's see, let, let me help you out here. Okay, let's boy, let's boy. I'm gonna give you a little hand here. All right, look, we have uh, here first this one, the site and handle test. How does this one work? You, look, you, uh, you, Use a tactile, tactile, and visual. ¿Se acuerdan lo que les dije al principio? Tactile and visual. All right. Elements of the product for, consumer, uh, for consumers to experience. So you test, you know, the, the appearance, como la apariencia, y el tamaño del, del producto. All right. So that's the first one. All right. The second type of test is... Use test. Which one do you think it is? All right, so looks like uh, I'm gonna show you how this goes. All right, first we have the uh, side and handling test, then we have use test, and it's gonna be like uh, this one, the third one, all right? So what is the use test about? Uh, you take a sample, you take a sample of uh, the product itself and uh, and uh, you use it like in your own home. So you test it in different ways uh, as, a, as a sample or as a, or for an extended period. All right, good. Then uh, we have the branded test. All right, what is the branded test? test about all right look consumers are aware of the brand they're trying this is best this best reflects the real world experience and the value 
of the brand. So this is probably rather the brand test, okay? Ese es el que le llaman brand test. All right, good. And uh, finally, we have uh, another one called the mo. Uh, then we have another one called the blind test. All right, we have the blind test. And uh, what is the blind test about? Can you guess? Can you guess about the 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 blind uh, the blind test? Which one do you think it is? Anybody, any guess? Maybe the last one? Maybe the last one, blind. Okay, products are tested, unbranded, so the consumer focuses strictly on the product's characteristics, not in the brand name. Like, uh, they do this a lot. They do this a lot, and they used to do it in, uh, in bleach uh, commercials. No se ha fijado que en los en los en los eh, en los comerciales de, de, de detergentes siempre aparecen aparecen dos y los dos los ponen sin marca, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So yes. they they don't put the brand on it and they go like, oh, this is bleach A and uh, this is bleach B. So we yes. washed the clothes with bleach A and look, they're all, they they are still dirty and we are using uh, bleach B and the clothes are clean and they then they turn around y de ahí le dan la vuelta so they they go like oh look it's uh yes. it's Maya Blanca okay so uh -huh. they that's that's a, bl a kind of blind test all right when you don't know the brand and you just focus on the on the characteristics all right so yeah all right good so we just have a few more left all right, blind test, monadic, uh, monadic method. What is this one about? So in the monadic method, uh, people actually, consumers use the product in real circumstances. They use a product site, they cite it in the and uh, they cite it and handle it later, all right? So they, they rate it and compare it to another later. So that's the monadic one, all right? That'll be number five. So you can, uh, you you guys uh, keep track of this too. Vayan también marcándolo en su manual también, okay? And uh, finally, yeah, yeah, we're missing just a couple more. I yeah. think on uh, the number seven and customers use a product, sign it and handle it. No, mm -hmm. uh, they rate it, then they use sign handle another product and rate it. The customer doesn't rate both product. Okay, so you're talking about this one, right? So this one will be seven, right? The one on top. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's another or not. <laughs> uh, uh, it looks like this, this is the one. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. this, this is the this. one. Mm -hmm. This is the one. So we use uh, cons uh, consumers use uh, use or cite and handle the product. Then another uh, are asked to another consumer is asked to indicate which one they would prefer. Okay, so the customer tries different ones and then says uh, which one he likes. So that's a pair comparison test. All right. Good. Then uh, we have uh, we have uh, number six, which will be sequential a uh, sequential uh, monadic test. That you know, it's obviously this one. Consumers use a product 
So consumers use a product, cite it and handle it, and then they rate it, then they use another product and handle. Like for example, this. For example, you, uh, let's believe, let's compare to, uh, to driving apps. We have a, uh, we have a uh, Uber and uh, we have InDriver. Okay. So you are the tester. Let's imagine you are the tester. So first you take a trip on Uber and you rate it. Do you understand the word rate it? Do you understand the word rate? Something is rate. Like in the chat, do you understand rate? So like a rango, un rango. Un... Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Five stars, three stars, four stars and a half. So you rate it and then you try in driver, for example. All right, so you try in driver and then you go like, mm, I'll rate it. Okay, entonces this is a sequential monetic method. Okay, se trata de eh, utilizarlo en, eh, en, eh, en situaciones reales, pero utilizamos dos productos y se califican eh, de manera secuencial, uno primero y luego el otro. Okay, all right, so it goes, it goes like this. It goes like this. I'm going to take a screenshot. Okay, great. So what we're going to do now in this, uh, in this uh, last minutes of class is uh, thinking of product testing. Like we are going to have, uh, vamos a imaginar que tenemos dos productos, okay? So, well, actually you decide on the, on the type of testing you want to, okay? Ustedes pueden decidir qué tipo de testing van a hacer. So we're gonna work in groups and uh, not necessarily retaking the idea of a new product because we probably don't remember it. Quizás no nos acordamos que hicimos en, ese, en esa ocasión. And uh, you're going to discuss two testing strategies to fit the characteristics of a product. Like, van a pensar, digamos, en, en, en un producto, por ejemplo, en un bleach o en un hand, o un hand sanitizer o cualquiera. And, uh, you're going to decide which strategies are better for your product, okay? So, number one, we work in groups. Number two, we uh, decide the strategies to test it, okay? And we decide which ones are better. Y vamos a decir cuáles son las mejores, okay? Entonces, vamos a, vamos a ver. Primero, vamos a pensar en un producto y luego vemos cuáles son las mejores maneras de probarlo. And we discuss and, and you tell me afterwards. All right? So, uh, yeah, let's do it. All right? Do we understand what we're going to do in groups? ¿Ya entendemos qué vamos a hacer en grupo? Yes, do we? Do we? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay. So good, we're gonna work in groups. You select any product. It can be an existing product. Puede ser un producto que ya existe, okay? You say the same que manera lo van a probar in, in any of these ways, all right? Cualquiera de estas maneras que vimos. All right, good. So uh, let's work in small groups, okay? It'll be this one, all right. Okay. All right, Jonathan, ya le mandé la invitación. I shared it already. So.
calling missing students. Jose Enrique O. Salazar, Katia Maria Solano de Santa Maria, no está presente. Ana Grisela Iglesias, Iris Dorotea, tampoco. César Vladimir Romero Rugamas, Omar Inmer, oh, sorry, Ana Lilian González de Peraza, Shane Zohar de Min Cabrera, no está presente. Arabella Parada, tampoco está presente. Mario Enrique Márquez Elaya, tampoco está presente. Elías Samuel Orellana, tampoco está presente. Let's check on the group. Hi. <coughs> what do you think, Jonathan? The, maybe the, the hat is. is sí. It's innovador. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe the the last the the, the uh, another placement where the when I I was uh, don't take the same idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe your your partners. Took the same product, take the same product. But it's different because we need to choose a new, um, una forma para presentarlo. That's a Puede ser el mismo producto, pero a cambiar la forma en mm -hmm. que lo la presentemos. Ajá, la estrategia. Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, the, the way of, uh, of testing it, okay? Tienen que como ver la, la manera, las mejores maneras de probarlo. Así como, por ejemplo, lo que les decía del producto de, de Uber en, en, en Driver. Pueden hacer ahí un sequential monetic test. O sea, el uso del producto y, 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 la, y luego rating. El, el rating, o sea, la calificación mm. de eso, ¿verdad? Mm. ¿Cómo nos funciona? ¿no? Ajá, exacto. Un, pueden hacer ese o digamos pueden hacer eh, un... Podría ser también uno... Eh, podrían usar el blind test para, digamos, un producto de limpieza o digamos hasta de, hasta, digamos, de una bebida. Si se han creado para las bebidas, utilizan también el blind test. Que ponen, digamos, dos botellas sin la marca, without the, mm. without the, the brand. They test it, and after that, they say, I like product A or product B. So, ahí vean ustedes la manera. Mm -hmm. de... Okay? So, it, it's up to you, up to your creativity. All right. I'll go check on the other groups. Okay, bye. Thank you. All right. See you in a minute. Um, Downy. Downy is Downy. Uh, Downy. Yes, it's another. Downy and Sabitel. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's Downy is uh, expensive, I think so, versus um, member versus selection. <laughs> member selection. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they, all right. Good. Good. That's very good. Yes. But it's uh, good. Um, I think Downy is a, a good product. Uh, because the smell, or, or I don't know, how do you say, um, el olor. The smell? Is, uh, yeah. Yes, in the, in the clothes, it's a, it's a permanent. Okay, it, it, it lasts, it enduring, yeah, I think it's, or long lasting. Es como que dura, ¿verdad? Long lasting. Yes, ajá, ajá, ajá. Long lasting. Yeah, long lasting. Okay. Long lasting. Lasting. Ahí lo puse en el chat. No sé si lo pueden ver. Lasting. Ahora. No. O se lo voy a enviar no, a los en privado. 
Ah, uh, Camila se lo voy a poner. Long lasting. Long lasting. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Long lasting. Long lasting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The smell is uh, long lasting. All right. Good. Those are very good ideas. I'll check on the other group. Voy a ver otro grupo. Okay. Okay. Pirate comparison test. This is uh, the the testing. We, the testing. We, we will use. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I read again, okay? Consumer read. use or site and handle and handle one product, then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Yeah. When when uh, we show the same product, uh, the people only use, but the 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 result uh, it it will be uh, when the hair is more soft, soft, soft and yes. and you can comb your hair easily, right? You can you can see the specific point, for example, uh, the smell of roses or smell of melancholy of peach, another smell, I don't know. Ah, yes, it's a good idea, yes. Uh, the, specific, the, the, uh, a specific point. Uh, other yeah, ar is, ar aromatic is correct, teacher? Ar ar aromatic? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, like, uh, other specific point uh, could be uh, the 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 shade of the bottle uh, to put in the shampoo in a conditioner, a, a conditioner, conditioner, a, a conditioner. Uh -huh, you put, for example. But but um, the testing, uh, you 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 you. you you should give the same uh, bottle to the to the to the to the cu customer. The, the customer traditional that... traditional bottle. No, uh, because this is a testing. Okay. You 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 give that uh, to to the to the to the customer the same bottle. Okay, no okay. brand, don't have brand, but the the customer only uh, applicate the 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 product all uh, right but, so, uh, mm -hmm. the result is, is uh when the you yeah he or, or the customer said I, I prefer that kind of product because my uh, uh, he tried to, to explain the the reason that uh he or she preferred that kind of product okay all right so that would be like uh, you're gonna run a blind test, right? What? You are going to do a blind test. A blind? Ah, okay, okay. A blind test, like uh, for example, you have two shampoos, shampoo uh -huh. A and shampoo B. Okay. You test it, and after you 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 test A and B, and after you, after you test them, you say I like A, and okay. you don't know the brand. Okay. You don't know the brand, like it has no label, no sticker. Yeah. Okay, no sticker. All right. Then you turn it around. Oh, it don't have a features. It. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. It doesn't have a sticker. It doesn't. Tiene la, okay. la etiqueta, verdad? Uh -huh. y, y después de probarlo, dice, ah, oh, era un paño libre. It was really good. Okay. So okay. we'll have we'll have a minute or two to talk about this. Okay. Great. Let's okay. go back. Okay. Teacher. So I know I'm mute. All right, I'm back. So now let's check on your on your uh, product and uh, your testing decisions. So um, first, let's see. Let's see over here. Um, group number one. Group number one is uh, Andrea, Claudia, and Jonathan. What product are you going to test and how are you going to test it?
Jonathan. <laughs> the, the product is an energy hat. It's a, a hat the, with a solar panel into the above that. Oh, um, all right. We we uh, have a three test. Um, the test of, of use, the use test. Okay. Right. Um, we we test we test the product uh, like uh, offer the the customer can use the the hat uh, and we can uh, charge the your cell phones uh, like like this with that. Uh, the another uh, test is a monadic mon, monadic oh, monadic yeah monadic. monadic one of the tests um, they, uh, the customers are, uh, can uh, take uh, can take a, a product uh, uh, for a, a while uh, few days and test, and test it um, the another Andre the another test no, de era y usted cinco cinco monadic side and handling. All right, side and handle. Okay, so yeah, side and handle might be interesting because it, it will be funny to see you with a hat in the in a solar panel on top. So the side and handle is important in there. Yeah, good. I like it. Let's see, group number two, that'll be, uh, that'll be uh, Maria and in, uh, in Camilla. So uh, what product are you testing and how are you testing it? Um, uh, cloth softener. Softener, yeah, okay. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, Compare, um, for example, Suavitel versus um, Downy, for okay. example. And uh, uh, the blind test, uh, the, the smell long, long lasting. Yeah, yes. For example, and uh, the smoothness. Uh, the smoothness, all right, good. So after using both products in the blind test, you select which one is better, right? So uh -huh. yes. All right, you do your yes. so blind test is a good, is a good option. All right, great. And uh, let's hear uh, Omar's and uh, Romulo's idea, uh, the ideas for testing. So what ideas do you have for testing, uh, Romulo and uh, Omar? Our idea is for shampoo and conditioners. Uh, for example, when you use um, any kind of product, the uh, shampoo versus a conditioner, conditioner. Uh, together, a conditioner together. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. uh, we we see the. Uh, the people are using this product, for example, uh, is, is straight hair. Uh, and I don't know what drum will help me. <laughs> okay. See, sí, uh, so we compare the two products and product eight, and product B, and product eight uh, is a shampoo plus a conditioner. All right. The product B only is a shampoo, but uh, both products don't have a, a branding, right? Or own branding, yes. And, and the testing we use is a test blind or blind, blind test. Yes. Yes, blind test. Because uh, the, uh, the consumer focuses only in the characteristic of the product, right? Mm -hmm. And with, uh, like uh, the Omi said, uh, the rest of your hair is more soft or you can uh, 
and comb your hair more easily. Okay, yeah, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, good. So the blind test will be the best thing here. Yeah. Right. Good, good. And and usually in commercials, in, in, uh, you see that in advertising, they use rather a blind test for these kinds of products. Okay, guys. Uh, well, uh, I will later leave the discussion. Ahí les voy a avisar mañana, en la mañana. Ya vamos a tener la discusión de este video y el video va a estar disponible también. Y ustedes ahí van a poder responder. All right. Also, don't forget to do your homework every day para que no se les acumule y no estén corriendo el viernes. So, uh, just a few pieces of advice. All right. So, I thank you for joining here today and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. You have a good night. All right. Good All right. night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care of yourself. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good, tomorrow, good, good night. See you tomorrow.